this is a clock and you have learned how to read a clock. So can you tell me what time is it? Well, the hour hand is pointing to 8 and the minute hand is pointing to 12. So the time is 8 o'clock. But what if I ask you what time of the day it is? If it is 8 o'clock, is it morning or is it evening? So it is day or night, morning or evening. So can you tell me what time of the day it is just by seeing this information? So if I say it's 8 o'clock, can you tell me whether it is evening or it is morning, day or night? You can't because 8 o'clock comes two times in the day. So in the morning when you get up, even then it's 8 o'clock when you leave for school or you reach school and again in the evening it's 8 o'clock. So 8 o'clock comes two times in a day and just saying 8 o'clock will not define what time of the day it is, whether it is day or whether it is night. So what do we see? A clock has 12 divisions. Now, right now it's 2 o'clock. Again, you cannot say whether it is day or it is night. So, to understand whether it is day or night, you'll have to understand how the clock completes a circle and how many times in a day it completes a circle. Now, as you can see, the clock starts from 12 midnight and slowly it's moving forward. So it's 4, now it's 5 in the morning, 6, so the sun starts coming up and the clock is continuously moving, 7, now 8, 9 o'clock and as you can see the time of the day is also changing with this and after 11, now it has reached 12 once. So one circle has completed, the day moves on. So you have crossed the afternoon here. So first circle was during the afternoon. Now the clock is continuously moving but slowly it's evening again. So it's 8 o'clock in the evening. Then it's 9, 10, 11 and finally it's 12 o'clock again. So second circle and it's midnight. So what did you see? From midnight to midnight. How many circles did the clock complete? Well, it completed two circles, right? So, what do we see? The clock completes two circles in a day. So, from midnight to midnight again, it completes two circles. So, it started with 12 midnight and then it started moving forward and exactly at noon, it reached 12 again. So that was the first circle. From 12 noon again it started the second circle and it completed again at midnight 12. So completed two circles in one day. So from midnight to midnight it's considered one day and the clock completes two circles in that period. Now let's see from midnight the clock starts and as it moves so it's morning time and slowly it's moving towards 12 again. So from midnight 12 to afternoon 12. What, what did it do? It completed one circle. So this was the first circle which you saw. From midnight 12 it's moving and it's noon 12. So this is the first circle of the day and whatever time falls within this period has a special name. So after 8 or 9 or 10 whatever is the hour of the day we add another term just after it to define that it falls in the first circle of the clock. So midnight to 12 noon that's the first circle. So one circle midnight to 12 noon and the first circle is called AM. So by AM we define that the time which you are saying for example 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock 
it is am that is it is part of the first circle that is between midnight and 12 noon so whatever time falls between midnight and 12 noon it is followed by this term am to define that the time belongs to the first circle now from noon if you start then again the clock moves forward and then there is evening and slowly the clock moves forward and again reaches 12 midnight so we have completed the second circle isn't it now 12 noon to midnight is the second circle and again all the time gets repeated right so from 12 to 12 noon that is 12 midnight to 12 noon you had all these hours again the clock is repeating those hours so again you have one two three four and so on so how can you define that now the time is the second portion or the second circle well that is defined again by pm so you had am for the first circle and after noon whatever hours are there they are defined by pm so am and pm define what is the time of the day whether it is before noon or it is afternoon so before noon that is between midnight and noon the time or the hour of the day is defined by am so if it is am it means that the hour of the day which the clock is showing that belongs to the first circle that is from midnight to noon while if you have pm written after time it means that the hour of the day is between noon and midnight that is afternoon hours so between 12 noon and midnight it's pm so if you have this clock and right now it shows what two o'clock right but is it am or is it pm how do you know that well if it is between midnight and noon so what does it mean it's before noon right so if it is before noon then as we had discussed it is defined by am before noon so it's 2 am so it is 2 am right now now if the clock reads 2 but the time is between noon and midnight it means it is afternoon and when it is afternoon then it is defined by pm so then how will you write the time in this case in this case time will be 2 pm so that is how you define what time of the day it is by mentioning whether it is am or pm that is before noon or afternoon now another important thing which you need to notice is that let's see what time is it in the clock right now now what time is it well the hour hand is pointing towards 12 or between 12 and 1 that is the hour is 12 and the minute well it is pointing to 4 so 5 into 4 20 so it's 20 minutes so it's 12 20 now if this falls after midnight that is if this time is after midnight then what is it well it is 12 20 am isn't it because it is before noon so before noon so it is 12 20 am and if it is after noon if this time is after noon then we know we need to write it as pm so it is 12 20 pm now the biggest confusion which comes is that you know that from midnight to midnight it is one day so from midnight a new day is starting and then you have hours one two and so on so you must be thinking that as the time is resetting at 12 midnight so it should start with zero and then again you have one two three four and so on till 12 and then again zero well it doesn't work that way as you can see it's not 0, 0, 0020 or 0, 0, 0020 pm or 0, 0, 0020 am right it is always 12 as you can see even in the clock in this clock there is no zero right so we start from 12 
and then we move, we complete a circle, we reach 12 here and again the counting starts from 12 itself. So in this type of clock, you do not have the concept of 0 hours. You always have 12, from 12 you move to 1 and again you come back to 12. This is how this clock works. So from 12 to 12, no 0 in between. Okay. So while denoting time in terms of am and pm, time starts from 12 and ends at 12. So whenever you are denoting time as am or pm, then the time will always be 12. It will start from 12 and it will end at 12. There is no 0 in between. So 12, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on and then again 11, 12, again 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. No 0. So the 24 hours in a day are divided into two parts. So a day comprises of 24 hours from midnight to midnight but the clock has only 12 divisions. So it completes two circles that is 24 hours in a day are divided into two parts. First part is known as AM. So the first part midnight to noon that is the first part and it is known as AM that is before noon and then second part is known as PM noon to midnight. So the second part is noon to midnight and it is represented by PM. So when you say AM it is before noon that is between midnight and noon and when you say PM it denotes noon to midnight that is afternoon noon to midnight and that is how 24 hours in a day are divided and that's how the clock shows the time. So clock has only 12 divisions while a day has 24 hours. So a clock completes two circles to represent one day and because it completes two circles and the hours are identical in both the circles as a result we denote the first part as am and second part as pm. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all learning resources as per ICSE, CBSE, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across Maths, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You also get amazing prizes like playstations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program. So at deltastep.com learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.